Hi there, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I organize my life using Notion. If you follow me on TikTok, you would have seen that I did a TikTok there a couple of months ago, I think. I'm a bit slow to this, but a lot of you asked for a tutorial to see how I did my Notion and how I did the setup. If you don't know what Notion is, Notion is a website and an app that you can use to organize your life and you can really personalize it, which is why I love it and it looks very aesthetically pleasing, which is also a reason why I love it. So today I'm going to show you guys how I set up my Notion and how I use it in my everyday life. Here is my Notion, this is how it looks and the first thing I'm going to do is show you guys the template that I used and how I set it up. I used Twirling Pages Notion template and it is incredible, she's done such an amazing job on it. And the way that I found her template was that I wanted to sort of make my own Notion and then I just searched on YouTube Notion template and her video came up and I watched her whole video and I decided that I really, I love this. In Twirling Pages description box, she has a link right here, which is the link to her workspace and her template. So if you just click that link like that, her notion will come up. So after I spent some time looking at it, I'm really, you know, <laughs> seeing if this is the tem template that I wanted. And I figured it is and if you find another template the whole process will be exactly the same just with another template so on the front page here you just hit the duplicate button and then you'll see it comes up duplicating to Sinus Notion and we just have to wait for it to duplicate and you will get the exact same notion page that you saw so as you can see, it says Twirling Pages Notion, it's all the things that she's put on it because you've duplicated it. You just go in, you edit it, and you remove the things that doesn't resonate with you. So for example, it says Twirling Pages Notion, so I just scratch that and I write Sinus Notion. That's not how you write it. <laughs> Sinus Notion. You can also change the pictures and the background up here. You just click on this box right here, hit upload an image, choose an image. These are all the screenshots from my video, so I just, I'm just gonna pick this one. <laughs> and as you can see, it uploads to your icon up here. If you want to change your cover, you can just hit change cover and this whole page of pictures and paintings and colors shows up. You can also upload your own. You can link and this right here I don't know what it is so I'm just not gonna touch it. <laughs> here you can also see that she has the thank you for checking out or duplicating my notion. So you obviously don't want that on your notion so I just removed that. I'll show you my notion. You can see here that I changed my picture. I still kept the cover I changed my name, I changed the heading to Hey Girly. <laughs> you can change it to whatever you like, that's just what I wanted to. I also changed the pictures on the modules. As you can see I've changed almost, I think I've changed all of them. If you want to change the picture of the modules, you just right click and you can click replace and this will show up and then you choose an image. As you can see, I have a couple of images here, so I'm just gonna choose this one. And it'll upload and change. And the cool thing about Notion is that it saves automatically, so you don't have to worry about that. You can also change the names if you'd like, uh, but then you have to go into them. It's, there's a lot of linking in Notion. So as you can see, if I hit the dream life here it is linked to the dream life module so it'll take you directly to the dream life module that is one of the things that i really like about notion so we're going to go through each of the modules and i'll show you what i have changed i'll just show you twirling pages template first 
this is it it is just super cool i love it it is so aesthetically pleasing it's such a nice setup and it's so easy to, to edit and just make it your own so i'm going to show you guys my home page to show you what i've changed i changed the pictures i changed the season because now it's winter i changed the month i don't really use the 14 week plan but it's nice to have and then you have like a little plan up here so i changed the playlist that it came with because it wasn't really my sort of music so i'm going to show you guys how i did that just go into home i forget you can't click the picture you have to click the home button If you can see here, there's a playlist that shows up and you just do the same thing that you did with the pictures. You right click or not. You click the three buttons at the top <laughs> on this one and then you just hit replace and you paste your Spotify playlist link and it will end up looking like this with your playlist on it. I also chose to put the weather here because I just thought that would be really nice to have. To get the weather, you just Google Notion weather widget. And then I believe I used the identify, identify? <laughs> I believe I used the identify. And here you have a lot of Notion widgets that you can personalize. So yeah, it didn't really show up right now, but there's a lot to choose from here that you can just make your own. So that's what I did, but with the weather one. You have the documentation. Here you have a direct link to your index. I'm gonna show you guys my index. Uh, I didn't really change anything here, I think. Oh yeah, I did. I changed the pictures of all the index things. Uh, sorry, my English is really bad when it comes to words like this, but I changed the pictures here. I also changed the name of some and I deleted some. I deleted some of them and then I also added one myself. I added the places to travel. To do that, I just added, quickly add a page inside. I chose the name, which was places I want to travel. And then you just sort of choose what you would like. So I think I have it as a table and here it is. And then you can just fill it in with whatever you'd like. And then it comes up right here and you can add a picture underneath. I'm obviously gonna delete that one. And here you have a backlog, which just tells you what the different things are for. So like reference is for my future self, notebook is thought and thoughts and etc wish list is for me to pause before i check out because <laughs> i do like hobby shopping places is places i want to travel fitness let's work this bod recipes is food quotes beauty of words tarot database a reference for tarot cards now the tarot database came with it and it's really fascinating i'll probably never use it but i chose to keep it i then have money diaries which is just where you're filling the money you spend if you want to i have watch queue which is one of the things i really like about this notion here you can just add shows you want to watch movies you want to watch shows and movies you have watched just different stuff to keep keep it organized which i really like then on my daily i have habit tracker i don't use that one because i can't seem to make it work so i'm just gonna leave it there I then have a medication tracker. This module right here did not come with the template, but I just Googled medication tracker on Notion and took the first thing that came up and just edited it to be mine. So yeah, then I have night routine. I don't, don't really use that one, but I keep it just in case. And then I have my shopping slash grocery list. Now this, this page right here I got from this user. She's called Frances Odero Matthews. I just googled shopping list notion. I'll link all of the like templates that I use down below. So 
don't worry and that's pretty much it that i have up here then we have our weekly planner where you can set goals you can update this week's focus you can do a to-do list you can do a daily to-do list which i find very handy this is a really cool part of notion but i just don't use it because i i'm not in any classes at the moment and then this office part i don't really use i don't even know why i have it but i've just kept it the dream life module here i just changed some of the pictures i edited it to be more personalized so like in a dream life i create with a purpose i make a positive impact on those those around me i live a happy life all of these things are my personal not my personal things but like all of these things are things that i have filled in then we move on to the index where you can find different stuff as i showed you here my favorite is the recipes where you can add in different recipes and the notion template also comes with a few recipes already in which is really cool but i've added a couple myself that i want to try out and here you can add the ingredients you can have a link and with the ingredients you can just add them to your shopping list as well then i have my creative content module i changed my header to be my youtube banner I edited these ones to be my direct links. I changed the identity things. And then I added a video ID roadmap just because I just wanted to kind of be able to drag videos to be in progress, completed. Let's see, we can <laughs> add my Notion setup to the in progress one, which is really nice. Then you have just video ideas right here that are pending and then you have this little handy one here which is sponsorships which is a sponsorship directory as you can see here I have a sponsorship this is more a collab because I don't get paid for it with tinge which is the provider of these blue light glasses I absolutely love these blue light glasses I've only used my blue light glasses for a couple of days and I can already tell such a difference I usually get very bad tension headaches and a lot of strain on the eyes because I look a lot at my phone screen I look a lot at my computer screen and it's very rough on the eyes just using these blue light glasses is already helping me tremendously so thank you so much to tinge for sending me these i will have a promo code in the description box down below that you can use to get 20 percent off your glasses from tinge i also got these super cool sunglasses they don't just have blue light glasses they have regular ones sunglasses and blue light glasses i feel like a mom from the hamptons and i'm just i'm loving it the last module that we have is Academia, which as I said, is one of my favorites. Here you can add your ID number. You can add just like your fall semester, your professor, what your current courses are. So just as I said, I haven't really filled this one out just cause I'm not studying at the moment, but I'll definitely be using this one a lot during the fall semester. Hopefully this video helped you out a little bit. I know that when I was gonna make my notion, I felt really overwhelmed just because there's a lot of options and I just didn't know what to do. But what helped me was watching a lot of YouTube videos and hopefully this is one of them that's able to help you with figuring out how to do your notion. If you end up making a notion and this video was a help, make sure to tag me in your picture, your Instagram story, your TikTok or whatever it is you end up posting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!